Over the years, we've seen lots of different cars come and go. And for the most part, they've all had one thing in common. This. That's how it's been for more than 100 years. But now, things are starting to change. The UK has announced that it's going to ban the sale of petrol and diesel powered cars by 2040. France recently made the same call too. And just a few weeks ago, carmaker Volvo became the first major car company to announce it's phasing out petrol and diesel cars. Volvo says that by 2019, all of its cars will either be hybrid, which means they use electricity and petrol, or totally electric. Electric powered cars have actually been around for a long time. Like a really long time, the 1880s to be exact. But eventually the petrol powered internal combustion engine took over. Because it was more powerful, cheaper to make and easier to keep going. But petrol does have its downsides. It's a resource that could eventually run out. And petrol engines release greenhouse gases into the air. That's actually one of the UK's big reasons to move on. We have to get rid of petrol and diesel cars off our roads if we're going to make sure not only that we deal with the health problems that air pollution causes, but also that we meet our climate change targets. And the good news is that the car industry is already moving in this direction. Here in Australia, some experts reckon we could be doing more to get rid of petrol cars, like providing more of these charging stations. There are already a few stations set up where you can charge an electric car and some state governments say there'll be more to come. For example, recently Queensland announced it'll be installing a super highway, which will feature 30-minute charging stations all the way from the Gold Coast to Cairns. Our research shows that if we switch to electric vehicles in just 10 years from today, it would actually be cost neutral for Australia. That means it could save as much as it costs. And that's because electric vehicles are cheaper to run and they're cheaper to maintain. But not everyone's convinced that electric engines are the way of the future. And scientists have also been looking for other ways to power cars. From solar charged cars, to cars that are powered by poo. But while it might not be certain what type of cars we'll be driving in the future, it's safe to say that filling up the tank will mean something completely different in the years to come.